Hey, one other football note. This story has just broken. O.J. Simpson has passed away. The electric company running back with the Buffalo Bills, whose great NFL career was then, how could I, how could I say this politely? was then destroyed by what he got himself involved in with the terrible death of his wife and everything that happened. He had really disappeared from public view in the last six months. And normally when that happens, you think there's something physically that has happened. He lost a battle to cancer at age 76. So when I step away and I close my eyes, I see OJ Simpson and the electric company running the football for 2000 yards in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And I see OJ Simpson and the, TV commercial running through the airport for the car rental firm. And I remember O.J. Simpson working Monday Night Football, didn't think he was very good whatsoever. And of course, we obviously remember O.J. Simpson back in the day with John McKay's great USC Trojans team. But his life, his life really evolved into a horrific tragedy over the deaths, the lawsuits, was he guilty, the trial, which I, I think forever stained his reputation. He was toxic from that point on, and he just really kind of disappeared from life. And the last time you saw him, he was selling memorabilia at an airport or something. It was just a terrible, terrible way to end what had been a brilliant, brilliant career. I don't know that we'll ever know the outcome of who was to cause the death of his wife but, and, and that other man, but it was just a terrible end to, end to what could have been a phenomenal life. Yeah, I mean, a really sad story. I mean, I, I just remember when he came to the 49ers back in the 70s. And that was like a big deal here and there in San Francisco. Um, but yeah, it's just tragedy. I mean, the 90s was a weird time, wasn't it? We had the the whole OJ trial, which captured the imagination of America. I remember the company I was working for, they brought in a television when they were announcing the final verdict. And he had Rodney King there and all this stuff going on. It was a crazy time in the 90s. But you know what? Since you know all the dust sort of kind of settled on the legal issues... His, I followed him on Twitter, OJ, and he was a very entertaining. You always talk about his fantasy football teams and stuff, but wow, what an end to a, a crazy career, a crazy life. Yeah. The big phrase, what was it the lawyer said? If the, does, if the glove doesn't fit, you must you quit. quit. Yeah. <laughs> Judge Ito and all the other people, and that trial went on and on and on. Because that might be superseded by the trials we might see on TV with the former president shortly. But um, to me, it's it's sad. I mean, that 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 was greatness as a football player. That was greatness as a personality, and his life just totally unraveled at the end. O.J. Simpson has passed away a fight with cancer over a short period of time. At the age of seventy six, he had been living almost in exile. Had been living in Las Vegas. Hey, we hope you have. 